I don't think you're ready for Kamasi. I'm fucking ready, ready, mate. Oh, fucking ready. I don't think you're ready for Drake. I'm recording, mate. I'm recording, mate. Oh, mate, I'm ready for Drake, mate. Oh, I'm ready for fucking... Hello. We? Oui? A jungle beats. You wanted to say, didn't you? Sorry. We're here today to review Drake. Oh, fuck me. We're here today to review Kamasi Washington's new single. He's dropping an album June 22nd. So we thought before we decide to review stuff other than, you know, hip-hop R&B, so thought to start before the album, we'll do the single. So here we are reviewing... Oh, where's me fucking manners? Me name is uh, Godfrey Gingerbread. What's your name, mate? Alexander Sandalis. And um, we both fans of and listen to Kamasi Washington's mm -hmm. last three disc project. Beautiful jazz composition. You and, got the pleasure of seeing him live. And I did before Ken, he was opening for Kendrick in Melbourne. Um, and he, his last single, Truth, was also quite nice. And we're going to give a finally give a review to, to, to a different genre. You know? Exactly. Some like jazz. We, as much as we love hip hop R&B, we've actually got a little bit more spare time these days. So it's <clears> nice <throat> to really get onto other genres as well. Exactly. Mm -hmm. So we're about to do uh, his new single, Street Fighter Mass. Mm -hmm. Let's go. Wait, did you press record? Mate. Put my dick in a Venus. Put my dick in a penis. Put my dick in some cheeses. Put some dick in Jesus. That's pretty good, man. Bars. <laughs> That's why they call me Bars McGee. Bars McGee. Yeah, I put her on her knees. Put my penis in her teeth. Watch her crunch it on my dick. Like Jesus balls. What is that drum thing or the bass? What is that? We're gonna pop, wow. Yeah. I'm not sure. I think it's just a synth. No, sorry, it's bass. It's just a distorted bass. It's a bass guitar. Ooh. to trombone to trumpet. That's so cool. say on this right kamazi washington what a fucking tune that i'm just gonna put it out there as a top 10 track of the year for ah, me already that is beautiful that was um let's just talk about the pacing real quick we don't have to talk mm. about pacing the pacing of that track from start to finish over the six minutes was uh, like beautifully crafted i completely agree because it really started off by the tempo signed by the bass mm -hmm. the real heavy sort of slightly and i don't bass. hear him use that often do you hear him no, i don't recall. Heard, i think his later work was more strictly jazz, whereas this yeah. has a lot more than jazz to it on this track. Mm -hmm. Like, there's so the layers just keep building and yes. building and building. But then, like, once the choir comes in, I heard like a layer of keys with organs with two different drums. With on top of that, the he started with the sax, and I'm pretty sure he went to the trombone and then to the trumpet, so he switched it up with there. But I just kept listening and just kept hearing so many layers of of instruments just put on top of everything else going on. It was just 
a really well executed track. You often hear when there's a lot of layers, artists can kind of mess it up and become too busy. It wasn't though. That's it yeah, was that's done the, so well. That's the huge. That's a big problem with these sort of tracks. Is it can be too messy or it can get too cluttered. Whereas this was just so everything complemented oh, each other. It's like the orgy that you dream of having that actually works, and no one gets jealous of anyone. That's a great metaphor. We're, we're a talk though. And the choir he used in, I don't know if the hook or the bridge portion, really lifted the song, mm. added a great vibrance and oh. color to it. Even the way it ended with like the, the leaving on that note, the, uh, yeah, yeah, and yeah. the spades, it's just like, and even with the album cover where he's standing in water, I, it feels like the whole song, I'm just watching him like basically walking on a beach and towards the very end of the track, he, he just starts to walk on the water and then he, <laughs> he does. It's like, oh shit. Like you've been watching and walking with this beautiful, this beautiful setting, but you've been, you've been like basically everything around, basically he's on the sax, but everything around him is the setting. So the whole track, you're looking at the setting and then by the end of the track, you're looking at him and like, oh shit, he's on water. I didn't realize that because of everything else going on around him. That's a, I feel like that's the beauty of could also, be the music video for it. it's also kind of like the beauty of, of say, believing in a God in a way like, you know, they've done so, there's so much beauty that they've created that you, sometimes you can just forget that they're there. I don't know, man. I'm just talking shit. It was a good track. It was a real fucking good track. It's beautiful. Um, real beautiful. Masterful. Uh, thank you, Kamasi, for making this beautiful cut. Um, we're going to be on the next album, 100%. June 22nd, we'll be on it. Very excited to check it out, especially after his, his previous fucking three-hour, three-fucking-disc album, which was fucking great. It was fucking great. You can support us if you want to see these reviews early or, mm -hmm. you know, just support our channel on Patreon. Otherwise, man, fuck. Great job, Kamasi. Absolutely beautiful. Thank Jungle you very beats. much. We're Jungle Beats.